Africa and the world and welcome to another episode of Skills Rising right here from Swakopmund at the World Skills Africa Swakopmund 2022. This is unfortunately also the last episode of this show as we are gearing to the end of this competition. My name is Ilago Shidatala. Welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now today also marks the last day of competition here at World Skills Africa Swakopmund 2022 and as per usual on the show we will be focusing on different skills and showing you what is actually happening on the ground and how far the competitors are during the competition. We will be back to, show, to start shortly with more exciting content here on Skills Rising. This is, of course, skills rising. Now, we now take a look at an insert done by one of our presenters, Puku, here at World Skills Africa Swakopmund 2022, as she shows us her journey towards coming here to the competition. March. Okay, we all know what that means. It means we are officially on the journey to go to World Skills Africa. I know this is so exciting. I am so excited. And of course, I'm here to take you guys with me through this entire journey. Probably by the time you're watching this, it already happened, but you guys know that we got y'all. So with that said, let's get packing. <laughs>
super excited, super pumped to be going on this trip. Right now we're at the NBC headquarters, but we won't be here for long. So if you're excited to find out more about world skills like I am, let's go on this trip. Okay guys, so we have made a pit stop of our many pit stops I'm sure you guys have seen But basically the secret here is If you're driving to Swakopmund, you're gonna stop at either one of two places Which is either Okahanja or Usakot why this is because this has our national treasure snack okay the only snack that matters on the road which is of course biltong for everyone that does not know what biltong is it's basically dried meat you know with some flavor with some spice namibian spice just to get you going so let's go let's go get our snack <laughs> Hey guys, so we're back and we got just what we needed. So right now, now that we got what we needed, now that we got the biltong, we are officially en route to Swakop, officially on the way. I'm excited guys, I'm energized. I have biltong, we're gonna have a great time, so let's go. Alright guys, so we have been officially welcomed by Mist and that can only mean one thing. That means we have finally officially arrived in the beautiful coastal town that is Swakopmund for World Skills Africa. So although our road trip journey has come to an end, our World Skills Africa journey has just begun. Are you guys excited to explore? Because I definitely am. So let's explore Swakopmund. And wow, what a grand welcome for me and my World Skills family watching at home. I'm definitely feeling the vibes. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna have a great competition and a great time. So, Osho and Wea, let us head inside and check this out. Follow me. We are officially in the competition venue where we have plus minus 100 competitors from 10 different countries in Africa. It is most definitely going to be an amazing, exciting experience for all of us. And this is what you call a competition. So come on, Osho and Wea, let us tour. Bum, 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 bum,
my name is Margaret Mengo, Head of Marketing and Branding for Standard Bank Namibia. World Skills Africa, I think it was not a thing that we had to think about in terms of how we can support this forum and initiative and it's also not our first time as a brand to be part of this journey. It's something that we believe in and skill is a is an important thing. It's a currency, you know, with, without money or currency you can't do anything. Skill is that one thing that can differentiate you as an individual and we believe in developing and helping the journey of developing skills in Namibia. Uh, my name is Roy Nasi Andrea. I'm a competitor. I'll be taking part in the World Skill Africa Swakop Moon 2022 in the hairdressing area. I'm looking forward to go learn new skills and for exposure and um, most importantly to go and have fun. My name is Emma Shilongo and I'm the owner of M Spirit Parlor and I also happen to be the national expert for Namibia in the hairdressing department. First year's preparations were quite well because we had um, a bit of time to prepare our competitor uh, to equip her with all the skills that is needed. Also mentally to prepare her that it's okay to do good and also to do bad, to also just have fun and to enjoy the experience. It's the experience most of it all because you're going to, to they get to meet people from all over the world. I mean now it's Africa so we are more than ready. Everybody wants to look beautiful every morning so when they stand up they want to show up. By showing up you look beautiful and hair and hair is one of those things that just brings so much confidence and self-esteem. When you look at society nowadays and it's something it's it's something that is actually missing in a lot of the youth and I believe and uh, also with when you look at our SMEs it's quite a lot of them out there and we want to support and uplift them and also just create that that um, hope that we are there to support and make this possible because with Standard Bank it can be. We're there to make it possible, we're there to support them through the journey and also to support their vision and, and dreams. Welcome back. You are still watching Skills Rising right here from Swakopmund as we bring you the World Skills Africa competition. Now, on this program, we do focus on specific skills, trying to give you an, an analysis on how far the competitors are and what we are up, what they are up with on the floor. And for that, this time around, our focus will be on water technology. And I am joined by Mr. Richard Karuhab, who is the workshop manager there. Good morning, Mr. Karuhab. Thank you very much for being here. Good morning. And I'm pleased to have him here. Mm -hmm. Now, for many watching this morning, water technology might be a word that is very new to most. Probably not a skill that is new, but because the term might be new. Please explain it to us. Okay, thank you very terms. much for the question. Yes. Uh, water technology, if I can give the background, is actually to do with water supply and sanitation. Okay. Previously, we used to say water treatment. Mm -hmm. Water supply is to do with the treatment of water for portable use, whether it is for domestic use, whether it is for the industrial use, mm -hmm. but there is not the water supply part where we are taking the water from the source, whether it is from the bowl, whether it is from the sea, mm -hmm. or whether it is from the river. So it depends from the different source. Then depending the source, then we have to determine what type of treatment process it can be designed to be treated. 
so that at the end of the day, we have to open the tap and get it. On the other side, on the sanitation side, is the wastewater treatment, where the ones, the water that we are using in the kitchen after we are uh, eating it, mm -hmm. or we go to the toilet, we flush it, we go to shower, all these ones is going to the waste, and that water needs to be treated. Mm -hmm. So in water technology, we are treating one part water for portable use, mm -hmm. other side, the wastewater, but we have to use the technology, the chemicals to mm -hmm. treat it, on the other side, bacteria to clean it, and there is the, the, the pumps, the valves, that needs to be uh, operated. So the technology side is they have to use the latest technology to verify or to control the treatment mm -hmm. process. If there was ever somebody watching this morning that didn't understand that, I'm sure we all now do understand it. So in the water technology competition, how many competitors do we have? Yes, um, in the beginning, we were supposed to have five uh, competitors, okay. but we end up only with two. What happened other, to the other three? Other countries, uh, some were a little bit skeptical about in their countries about Corona. Some withdrew due to the financials. Uh, some of their budget could not be approved as, as to what they have been informed us. Mm -hmm. So we end up only with two countries, which is Namibia and South Africa. Mm -hmm. But we have been confirmed that other three countries, they will also hit for Sangay. Oh, all right. Now, today is the final day of competition. I just want us to take a, a, a look back at competition day one, two, and three. What was expected from the competitors and how did they perform? Okay, the, the first day, what, what we, we, we started with the uh, magnetic card that both of them have to do. What was expected from them is the cards, they have been given the process, for example, like wastewater treatment swag of mount. Mm -hmm. And they have been informed the wastewater treatment swag of mount, they have this unit and this unit and this unit, how many, what is the amount of water, the water flow which is coming in. They have been given the quantities, they have been given the, the, the concentrations of certain parameters, whether it is pH, whether it is now the oxygen levels, and they had to plot according to the instructions, the wastewater treatment process. Mm -hmm. And they have been, they have to solve some of the problems. If that pump is not pumping, what will happen with the wastewater treatment mm. plant? And as an operator, you have to see if with some problem, maybe this pump ceases mm -hmm. to operate, what can you op uh, uh, actually expect and what can you do? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you have to do some calculations to optimize at the end of the day so that the quality of water which is going out is reaching the expected uh, 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 target. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it, was, it was the first, first one, yes. uh, first day. So they also do the, the um, ETS, uh, uh, whereby they have to control the process yeah. by way of using the latest technology. They use the, the laptops, yeah. they, they use the, 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 some of the equipment which is actually featured there. Okay. It was the second day. Yeah. They had to do also uh, on the, the, the other day, they have to do the valves. Uh -huh. in, in water technology, we are using valves, mm -hmm. we are using pumps, we are using pipes. So all these ones have to operate it. Mm -hmm. Previously, we used to use the manually operated valves. Okay. But now with the latest de technology, we have to use the valves which are open and closed with the pressure. Uh -huh. So they had to open the valves, they have to look for the mistakes or the faults, and they have to assemble it again. Mm -hmm. So today, what they are now, now busy with yes. is now basically the last task okay. so far. Mm -hmm. So, so far, the, all the other tasks have been done. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, they did the pH uh, determination. They have to determine the pH, which is in water, by using the spectrophotometer. Mm -hmm. And today, they are doing the last part, which is now the flocculation. Mm -hmm. In water technology or water treatment part, you have to know how much chemicals you have to add and what type of chemicals you have to add. If you add too much chemicals, some of them are corrosive and mm -hmm. pipe will corrode. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, we have to replace them. Cost is involved there. Mm -hmm. If we are adding on the other side to optimize it, to, then it might be that we add too much of lime or too much of base, mm -hmm. then the pipes will uh, uh, again uh, blocked. Okay. So we don't want the limestone in the pipelines. So we have to operate Bats. to balance it. All right. So it's where the, what they are busy with now is to find out how much chemicals they have to add, both of them. All right, yeah. so this is the South African, um, the Namibian uh, competitor, right? Yes. All right, so what's happening here? Talk to us through this. Okay, the, the Namibian competitor is this one. Mm -hmm. The another one is a South African competitor. All right. This is the chief expert from Germany, which okay. is uh, uh, looking over the, the whole assessment. This is one of South African judges, All right. and we have uh, Namibian judges there. And so this what, is a South African competitor? This is a South African competitor. Right. This one is just the assistant if they need something quickly mm -hmm. to, to, to help them. Mm -hmm. So she is now basically to calculate now, to put in, in the different beakers. 
So, so they have to optimize, as I was saying, yes. the BH. Yes. So they first test the roader. We made the roader, which is dirty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, any roader where that is from, but we made it up so that they have to treat this road out by adding different type of chemicals. Uh -huh. So they have six because they, they will put different type of chemicals and they will put this one. This is actually a mini treatment plant. This one? That one. Okay. So, so they will uh, add the chemicals, fast mixing will be there. After that, they will slow down to see whether how much uh, uh, sludge will settle. And at the end of the day, they have to take the top part, which is the clear water, mm -hmm. to determine how clean the water is. We are saying it's a turbidity of water mm -hmm. that they have to determine. All right. Mm. So the Namibian competitor is busy doing the same thing that the South they, African competitor they are is doing. doing the same thing. All right. They have uh, given the time. They have given the same type of chemicals, mm -hmm. same type of equipment, mm -hmm. and they have to uh, finish in the same time. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So what now after this? Okay. After this, what will, what will happen today by 12 o'clock, they will be done. All right. Then the chief expert and expert, they will now capture the results mm -hmm. in the CIS, the, the integrated uh, software. And uh, after that, they have to announce who is the winner. Mm -hmm. But after the competition, the way forward is that uh, from Namibian side, yes. this competitor has to be prepared again for to, to uh, compete in Shanghai. All right. So we have to look into it. So we identify some of the mistakes that he did. Mm -hmm. So we'll continue. This one was actually for us, not main aim was not a win. Yes. It's the first, as, as you were saying, water technology is a new trade. Yes. And for us, it's the first time uh, we are entering this one. Mm -hmm. So it was a learning curve for us. Mm -hmm. Even for me as a workshop manager, it was a learning curve. Mm -hmm. My uh, um, expert that I sent, it's a learning curve. Mm -hmm. So we will continue to groom him mm -hmm. for Shanghai. We might send him to Germany. We might send him to South Africa. Mm -hmm. So to prepare him for mm -hmm. Shanghai. Others have referred to World Skills Africa Swakopmund as a preliminary round for Shanghai. Mm -hmm. But thank you so much for being here and talking us through this beautiful trait. It and we wish it all the best and we hope uh, that our competitor does make it to excel at yeah. world skills uh, shanghai thank you very much it was a pleasure to have me here all right okay. well that was all that we had for you for water technology we will be back to give an analysis on another skill stay tuned
Welcome back. We are still focusing on various skills here at World Skills Africa Swakopmund 2022. And now we are beaming the light on electrical installation with Messi Situmbeko. Thank you for being here, Messi. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. So explain to us what electrical installation is really all about. Okay. Electrical installation is as basic as wiring, installing anything that has to do with electricity in your house. The DB boxes, as you can see there, it will mean the cabling, like all the, the, the facets that have to do with wires, putting it in such a way that you cannot see the wires standing out and stuff like that. But this electrical installation actually at this competition, it goes further and it goes and it dwells into what we call building automation. Because right now the world is moving towards um, automated stuff. Yeah. So right now, as you can see, they are building. He is busy now installing the DB boxes okay. for wiring. So all the wires have been actually blended nicely in these, in these uh, conduits and cables and stuff like mm -hmm. that so that it looks neat. Mm -hmm. When you're wiring a house, when mm -hmm. you come into a house that is done, you, will not find, you, should, you should not find wires all up and they must be in a certain standard. Mm -hmm. So uh, as Nampower, we're really the leading ones who are trying to say, let's be exemplary in doing things right. Mm -hmm. So electrical installation, wiring, cabling, and making sure that all the wires and everything that is required for a house to manage and run on electricity is done properly. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what exactly is expected from an electrical installer such as the competitor we have on screen now? So for example, with such an, a competitor that is on the screen, you mm -hmm. will see that precise measurements of how, if you can see these conjuits, uh -huh. are supposed to be. Yes. Precise measurements of the, 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 the spaces, the in, spaces in them. Mm -hmm. is, it, 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 that is very, very important. Mm -hmm. How high this DB box should be. Mm -hmm. How high you can see the, the, the wirings. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important things that an electrical installer actually like this one should be, should not be colorblind. Do you see the importance? Oh. Uh -huh. That is very important. For example, at Nampawa, when we actually employ or actually employ them to become electricians, one of the things that we do is color blindness. Uh -huh. Because if the person will not be able to tell the colors there, they can easily mix it up and actually burn a whole house. Mm -hmm. So what the wiring. The, what do the colors mean? The colors they mean, for example, is it okay now to switch to, to um, is the, let's say the, the system on, mm -hmm. it will indicate to, to him who's wiring. Mm -hmm. For example, you can see now it is on, mm -hmm. but it will also indicate, okay, something is on, don't, don't touch something. Uh -huh. You understand? So the earthing is very important. Most houses, we also have earthings to make, to make sure that we don't burn down our houses mm -hmm. and stuff. So for an electrical installer, it's very important, the precision of the, this is what we also call a DB box. Okay. You know, in a house, you always have the the, the, the little boxes yes. that yeah that. Some of us refer to it as the crack box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. But you can see actually at the back side, there's so much happening in that box. Mm. So what we we what is presented in the house is something that you would be able to manage. Mm -hmm. But an electrician will also always go somewhere. They say, where, where's the main switches? Mm -hmm. Where's the thing? So at the main switches, this is where they would also manage all this. Mm -hmm. So for, for example, for this competition, when you just, and in a normal house, mm -hmm. when you wire something literally wrongly or get the colors wrong, you might burn down a house. Mm. And in this case, like I say, they're going further and saying, um, after they, they have put all the wires in place, they're now automated. Uh -huh. So building automation, now they start program it, programming on actual the computer or their laptops. Yes. So this means that um, at such a point where, for example, I was demonstrating yesterday at our Nampower store, yes. where now you can switch on and off electricity or, or your lights via your cell phone app and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So eventually with them, they expected that once they finish the wiring and installation, Will it, will, can it be controlled remotely with a remote control or with a cell phone and stuff like that? Because mm -hmm. this is where the world is going to. I think COVID has shown us a lot about that. It, it has, definitely. Yeah. And it's, imp it's, it's really interesting to learn this uh, skill. Yes. How many competitors do we have? Uh, currently, only one um, for electrical installation. We have one mm -hmm. who is coming from Nam Power Training Center. That is a Namibian competitor. That is competitor. a Namibian competitor. Mm -hmm. So we have, I think, different fields where Namibia is represented. I'm, yes. I'm not very sure of how many they are, yes, but yes. I'm sure in almost every skill that is competed here, I've seen the bricklayer kid, I've seen the um, flooring and tiling. Yes. I've seen, I think, on the on the hairstylist, I think we also have one. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen one also who's um, on 
on the uh, fashion and design. Yes, we have a lot of Namibian representatives. I, I, I think we are literally fields. represented in all the fields that are competing today. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, at Nampao, what we're trying to do is also, like, for electrical installation, we supported the whole system by making sure that they... They have been practicing, mm -hmm. the, the expert as well as the competitor, we give them sort of room at Nampao Training Center so that they can practice as wow. they get better. Because they are actually supposed to finish this, they are given a number of hours. Yeah. So for example, today, by 12 o'clock, everything must be finished. The wiring must be done, and at least the last two hours, I would say from 10 o'clock, yes. they should start now the programming. Uh -huh. So they have been allocated 18 hours from the first day. So if you went there on the first day of the, of the competition, yes. what you will not be able to see who's where if you're not knowledgeable. Uh, so most people are like, oh my God, the Namibian kid is really far behind. You know, the, the, the Rwanda seems to be going so fast. Yes. But what they don't realize is the planning of those little details of the measurements. So for example, it's like when you're wiring a house and you find, oh, the person has moved the DB box here, so there are holes in the, in the wall and stuff like that, mm -hmm. or the wires is put wrongly. All that actually in this competition, marks are deducted. Mm. So it's the little details that when you are an electrician, certain standards must be followed. Mm -hmm. So we've been trying to support NTA by saying, look, they can come and practice so that they practice and practice and practice. and due to the, those 18 hours given to see if he can actually race against time mm -hmm. with the installation as well as the programming. Mm -hmm. so now, Mercy, you, you've mentioned that um, you are from the Nampawa and you have sponsored space for, these, for the Namibian competitor to practice. Yes. What else has the Nampawa sponsored for the electrical installation uh, skill? Um, apart from the electrical installation skill, so what we sponsored really for the electrical installation skill is, is provide them space and, and even supplement some of the materials. Okay. Like to have, we have a whole um, like world standard of, of, of two box that like that, um, we have competed in 2015, 2017, 2019. So we're a bit more on the experienced side okay. when it comes to these things. So we are always on standby. Like I think uh, the first day, all the materials were not there. So we always have our standby box and say, ah. yes, and stuff like that. So, but we've also actually sponsored the, the whole um, World Skills Competition um, Africa mm -hmm. with financial assistance and in kind is now the support. Mm -hmm. But financial assistance was also donated mm -hmm. to, 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 to to the whole world skills competition. Well, world skills uh, is definitely um, helped by Nampower greatly, as you've mentioned. Thank you, Mercy, for Thank taking you time so to speak to us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank mm -hmm. you. Well, that was Mercy Situmbeko from Nampower talking to us about the electrical installation skill and what is happening on the floor with the competitors, how far they are and when they will be done. As she explained, they should be done by 12 o'clock and um, we will expect results to start trickling in shortly. We will be back with the next one. Stay tuned. by Dario Pinto. Good morning, sir. Thank good you very morning. much for being here. Uh, much obliged. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Explain to us what mechanical engineering is all about, please. Well, mechanical engineering is uh, the base of all the other skills. Mm -hmm. So we develop a project. That project can be used for any, any one of these skills, like the project that you are using in welding. Mm. Someone has made it. 
so we need to make the 3D drawings and uh, all the model modelization uh, for them to accomplish something. Mm -hmm. So we make the project for them, mm -hmm. for them, for the automotive area, for structural area, buildings and so on. So we make that project, we calculate before it is actually done and we can make an, uh, an expectation and a calculation if it works or not before it is done. Mm -hmm. So CAD is all about engineering, calculation, designing, so we see if the product will really be the what you are looking for mm -hmm. as a final product before doing it. Mm -hmm. So CAD is basically the plan. Yeah, making the plan, mm -hmm. making the 3D, we can figure it out if, if a, a wheel fits the car, yeah. if the motor it is what it is, mm -hmm. if it fits all the, all the bodywork and so on. So it's a project before, before it really happens. All right. Now today is competition day four, also the final day of competition. Please briefly just walk us through competition day one, two and three. What was it like? Okay. On the first day we made like a more simple project just for the competitors to adapt for the, you know, the competition is very stressful, so it's a way for them to adapt. In that, we just uh, send them um, some challenge for, the, for them to figure out a uh, mechanical solution. It was quite a simple project with the idea for the future to produce the parts that developed by 3D printing. That's something that we have at World Skills. We didn't have in here, just a question about logistics, logistics but we also use 3D scanners. Mm -hmm. um, on the second day, it was uh, another, another challenge, but making um, an assembly and they need to figure it out how to assemble the, all the components to make uh, the big assembly as the final machine. On the yesterday, on the third day of the competition, we move to something different. We look for some animation, renderization, so they can produce a product to present to a customer. Mm -hmm. So they could sell it to a, to a customer. Mm -hmm. That was the main goal from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Three different models, three different approaches. Mm -hmm. Today, different. Yeah. Today, this is the camera that we have live yeah. now in the in the stall. So what's happening? Well, actually, I bring something with oh, me. Oh, you brought it with us. It yeah. looks similar to what I'm seeing now. Yes, I see there's exactly a drawing. Exactly the same part. Okay. All right. This is a part yeah. from from a motor. It was produced in CNC milling. Okay. But sometimes we don't. We need to readapt, or we have like old cars that we don't have the parts anymore. We need to reproduce them again. Uh -huh. Okay. So what the, basically what they are doing, they are getting this part. Actually, this is from a motor, okay? Well, it fits with bearings and so on, mm -hmm. several parts that fits in here. They just need to get all the dimensioning from all the parts. They are acquiring their dimension now, mm -hmm. okay? And they will transform a physical part into a 3D model. Oh, wow. So nowadays, that technology, we can send the part, create the code, to a CNC milling mm -hmm. machine or even to a 3D printer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to reproduce the part, like an old car needs a new part, there is no one that manufactures it anymore. We need the project to mm -hmm. be done. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of work they are doing today. Mm -hmm. And at the end, they will make um, a rendered image, mm -hmm. okay, as it should, with all the, the color, with the materials, with all the calculations for this part. Mm -hmm. All right. How long do they have to complete this task? Well, it's quite hard because they will have this part on their hands for two hours. Two hours? Yeah, and then it will be removed and they will have more two hours to make the project of it, 3D model, the 2D drawing and a rendered image of this part. Wow. How many competitors does this skill have? We, we started, we were supposed to have four at the beginning. Yes. Uh, but then at this moment, we have three. Mm -hmm. And what happens once they're done with this task? This is the final task yes. they have? Yes, it's the final task yes. for all the competition. We finalize more or less around two o'clock mm -hmm. and it will, be final, uh, it will be the finish of the competition. Mm -hmm. Now we have unfortunately run out of time, but thank yeah. you so much for making You're time welcome. to speak to us. Okay. Thank you. All right, now that was the focus on mechanical engineering. We'll be back to say goodbye shortly. Stay with us.
Nampawa is quite an organization that is very skills reliant. And skills or TVET skills are really something that is becoming like IT, they are evolving. So with world skills, we're actually learning that there's always new ways of doing things. So with this kind of continental event, we're actually realizing that there's a lot to learn and there's a lot to teach others. So one of the things that we're really proud of that we've learned by having participated in World Skills since 2015, um, we've come up with ways, new ways of doing things. Uh, for example, we are helping actually train the electrical uh, installations uh, for World Skills Namibia. One of the major things that I personally have been very proud of is the fact that we are moving far from, what do you call this, um, motion sensor kind of electricity. And we realized by being involved with world skills that we learned that motion sensor is yesterday, we're now going to body temperature, you know, kind of censoring when it comes to electricity. So we're learning a lot and giving a lot as well to the world skills. So TVET is the future. There's so much that one can do with TVET. We just saw the demonstration, like you can actually do electronic things. You know, the youth are very interested in things that you do with uh, the internet and stuff like that. We're moving towards that way of functioning in TVET electronics. WorldSkills is a global platform for skills excellence and, developing and development, which brings together young people, industry, government, and education and private sectors to promote the benefits and the need for skilled Trade, uh, trade professionals. Ladies and gentlemen, Nampawa's relationship with the World Skills Competition is not a new one, as it dates back to 2011, when, Nampawa, when Namibia joined International World Skills through the NTA and the Ministry of Higher Education, Tech, Technology and Innovation. Nampawa, in the same year, provided expertise in electrical installation at the World Skills Competition held in the UK. Thus, our relation is now over a decade and counting. Furthermore, our trainees have since 2015 qualified to compete in the International World Skills Competition. Nampawa sponsorship is comprised <coughs> of a monetary and in-kind contribution. The sum of 150,000 Namibia dollars was sponsored towards logistics and training support in preparation of the event, while the remaining 100,000 contribution is in monetary value. We are proud to contribute towards the realization of this auspicious continental event that, Nam that Namibia is proud to host. If and when you are experiencing challenges with starting your own business as an entrepreneur, then it is very important to volunteer your newly acquired knowledge to organizations and institutions to build up the necessary skills related to specific sectors of the economy and your, trained, and your training or qualification. After some months of volunteering, you will have gained some experience which you can add to your CV until you find suitable full-time employment in the absence of having an own business. In the process of volunteering, instead of sitting at home, you are improving your opportunities. Welcome back to World Skills Africa Swakopmund 2022. This is Skills Rising, where we focus on various skills and also give you an analysis on what's happening on the ground in as far as the competitors are concerned, what they're up to today is the final day of, comp of competition and um, how far they've come. Now, 
we are now focusing on joinery and for that I, I do have a workshop manager here and that is Mr. Klaus Ndumba to give us uh, an analysis of what's happening there. Mr. Ndumba, thank you very much for being here. Good morning. Good morning, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. yes. Now explain to us just briefly please what joinery really is. Um, joinery is anything beautiful which is around us, okay. made out of wood, so that is joinery. Uh -huh. So carpentry also is part of, uh, because it's made of out of wood, so it's part of joinery also. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is a very simple explanation and I love it so much. How many competitors do we have in joinery? So we, ha we had five, but yes. uh, two dropped out, okay. so we are only having three. Okay, from which countries? Um, we have the... Namibia, yes. let's say Namibia, yes. Zambia, yes. and Congo DRC. All right. Mm. So today is the final day of the competition, uh, Mr. Ndumba. Explain to us what competition day one, two, and three look like. Um, actually, we had uh, two projects to do. Yes. So the first project is drawing, and the second drawing is the reality of that specific drawing. Yes. So on my slides here, yes. I'll just show First thing they have to draw, mm -hmm. they have to have a sheet like this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a sheet, a like, sheet this like this one. Yeah. So all the measurements are here. Yeah. So they have to transfer all this measurement into the drawing board. Uh -huh. If you can see on their table, there's another table where the drawing board is, and mm -hmm. there's a working uh, table also. Yes. So all these measurements, they have to uh, transfer them onto oh. the drawing, and then they have, after that, then they will have this. Yeah. Uh, parts, mm -hmm. and then they have to do the actual um, picture uh -huh. of the drawing. All right. So is this, this, is, is this the this drawing is the, board? Yes, that's the drawing board. Mm -hmm. So the final is supposed to be like that. Okay. As you can see there, that's supposed ah. to be the final. All right. Okay, this is the drawing that you're talking about? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. So, and today they are d uh, on competition day four. Yes. What is expected from them? Yeah, today, because it's a final day, as you can see there, they are just finalizing mm -hmm. and they have to put everything together and they have to glue. After gluing, mm -hmm. they need to sand it and make it nice. Mm -hmm. What exactly is this that we're seeing? Uh, that is a, a window itself. Okay. So that's a window itself. It's uh -huh. a wooden window. All right. And what are the judges looking for in, in choosing a champion in the skill? Yeah, first of all, they have to check on the joints, the, the qualities joints. of the joints, how neat is the joint is, mm -hmm. the gaps and everything. Mm -hmm. So, and if you can see, the, the drawing also supposed to be very uh, neat, mm -hmm. and all the caves that you can see on top there on, uh, let me just show you this one. Mm -hmm. To draw this cave supposed to be on a precise angles. Mm -hmm. So... All those things they mm -hmm. have to check about. Mm -hmm. that. Explain to us what this competitor is busy with at the moment. He has glue. What is happening? What is he, he using the glue for? Yeah, he's he's just put he's just gluing because there's spaces in between there, so he have to put glue there so he can compress and be strong. All right. Mm -hmm. And so does this mean that this uh, structure is just put together by glue, no nails? No nails. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. And when do we expect uh, them to wrap up this competition and for results to be in? Um, gluing, will, it will take two hours for the glue to hold. Mm -hmm. After that, then uh, they remove it and sanding or finishing is just one hour. Mm -hmm. So they are done. By one o'clock, we are done. Mm -hmm. And what is the mood actually like in a workshop like this when these competitors are busy? Are they tense? Is, is it heated? Uh, no, I think they are just enjoying their work. They are they enjoying know, they are, it? Yes, they are enjoying, they know what they are doing. All right. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen um, after the champion has been crowned? What then is next for this particular skill? Do they also go on to World Skills International? Walk us through that process. Um, yes, one of them have to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one who have to get the, the first, uh, the first one. The champion. The champion mm -hmm. will go. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how important is a skill like joinery in in a day to day life? Uh, it's very important because in our houses we need uh, uh, kitchens, 
we need chair. Yeah, we, we need, need cupboards. So if we don't have any of this in our uh, Namibia or in our country, then yes. it's a, a challenge. All right. Yes. All right. It's very important. Thank you very much, Mr. Ndumba, for, bring, for being here and for walking us through the joinery skills competition. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Well, that was Mr. Klaus Ndumba here at World Skills Africa Swakopun 2022, walking us through the joinery skills competition. We will be back shortly. Stay with us. Thank you very much for tuning in to another exciting edition of Skills Rising. We have come to the end of Skills Rising for this World Skills Africa Swakopmund competition. So from myself, Ilago Shitatala, it was such a pleasure to bring you the analysis from the floor. As you've seen, the competitors are really hard at work trying to become champions and to head over to World Skills International Shanghai that is later on in the year. Please do not Turn off your devices as we still will continue bringing an update through the, throughout the day from World Skills Africa Swakopmund today. Um, also, don't forget to tune in again at 12 o'clock with Friendland Thomas as she will bring you more details and later on in the evening with Patrick Sam as they continue to discuss TVET conferences that are taking place here at World Skills. For myself, Ilago, it's goodbye. It's been a blast. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Be a man of bravery. Be a man of bravery. This is what you are. This is what you are. Be a man of bravery. Go quick, I say, kick on her. This is what you are. Go quick, I say, kick on her. This is what you are.